Hey everybody and welcome back to Living Houston Real Estate. I'm your host Julian Lopez and today is a very special day. Today we're taking a look at the new Dell Webb development out here in Fulcher, Texas and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how magical this community is going to be. So this is actually a 55 plus community. It is going to be amenity rich. It is going to be absolutely dripping in amenities. So there's going to be an entire over 16,000 square foot amenity center right here. It's going to have all sorts of different things. Fitness center. There's going to be an indoor and an outdoor swimming pool. There is, you know, I mean, look at this. There's a big uh, uh, center right here. There's a lot of development going on um, just right here behind this wall. That's where the uh, the giant amenity center is going to be. Um, lots of clubhouses. Very, very uh, amenity rich and it's in a great location right here in Fulcher really close to Katie. I'll show you on the map right now. All right guys here's Houston just wanted to show you exactly where I was on the map. Here is precisely where the Dell Webb community is right here off of Main Street or 359 right there in Fulcher. As you can see um, there is a lot of brand new communities and brand new homes available in the area which is one of the driving uh, main driving factors to this particular area and neighborhood. These homes out here are fully customizable. You can come in, they have a big screen in there. I'll show you in just a moment where you can go in and you can select and make options and upgrades to your home and really design it exactly how you want and live in almost a resort style neighborhood. All right, guys, I just came back here to uh, the back of the subdivision to show you guys a little bit of the homes that are being constructed. As you can see, there's a lot of them being built out here. So they're doing it a little bit differently and it's a little bit smart in my personal opinion. Tell me what you guys think, but they're actually waiting until someone comes in the door and says, yes i want to have a home and then they design the home they build it these guys are actually not building inventory homes now as you can see there's a lot going on i'm going to just pan for you guys show you everything in this section so a lot of homes to be put out here in this community they're going to be putting 725 homes out here and again guys this is a 55 plus community it is going to be absolutely filthy with amenities there's going to be a massive 16,000 square foot facility uh, with a fitness center and all sorts of different things i'll show you more about the amenities right here um, and again guys i've talked to you before about locking in pricing and uh and kind of timing a neighborhood in this specific neighborhood you have pricing that you are not going to see two and three years from now now the big development i was telling you guys about the big clubhouse is going to be ready here in about a year they're anticipating by about december that it's going to be complete and that's going to be a big driving factor in this home at this new home community blowing up and having way more sales than they have historically because right now there's no amenities so what other than a little golf course that i'll show you right now um other than that, there's not a whole lot out here. There's a couple ponds, but not really anything else. So again, guys, think about that and keep that in mind that when you're looking around and you're looking at brand new homes and new home communities, that you should really be either first in line or last in line to buy a home. If you buy a home in the middle of the development when everything is already complete, the prices are going to skyrocket, especially if you're in a good area. So make sure two things do it for me and do it for your family okay number one do not buy a home if you are in the middle of the development if the amenities are already there wait until the end or buy in the beginning secondly take into consideration what is in the area if there is nothing in the area and you have a boatload of new homes being put in and new communities being put in then think about that think about what else is to come is that population explosion going to have to be supported by grocery stores, by medical clinics, by things like this daycare? If the answer is yes, that that is going to be needed in that area, then you might be making the best decision that you can. Because why? Once that development is there, you are going to have the ease of access to all those different amenities and the things in the surrounding area. And that is going to build equity into your home so i just had a quick chat with the construction manager out here now each one of these guys has anywhere 12 to 15 homes that they're building 
for each individual construction manager that has experience. And when I was talking to this gentleman, he told me that it once you get to 15, 20 homes or 25 homes, you start losing time. You start forgetting, okay, what home is, what's going on with what home? Even if you have the best database and follow-up systems in place, there it is not humanly possible to make no mistakes when you have anywhere 25 to 40 homes per each construction manager. He told me a little story as well that he heard that somebody had a home, I won't say the name of the builder, but they bought the home and they had a warranty issue, a warranty claim that they had to follow up on and that customer got so screwed that they ended up having to put them in a hotel for several days to be able to rip apart their home and put it back together the way it was supposed to be. Now, if that doesn't tell you that you should invest into a home inspection, I don't know what will. As always, guys, I always warn you, and I know you're getting sick of hearing me say it, but because this community is only doing building from scratch and building to your design, make sure to get yourself a home inspection. If you do not get your home inspection, I guarantee you, you will probably regret it. Not because I'm bashing the construction people that are in here right now listening to me, but because mistakes are made. We're all humans and things happen. So again, when there's so many homes being built, it's just way better if you're gonna be spending three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars on a brand new home to really protect yourself and protect your investment by getting inspections in every step of the way, every stage in the building process, whether it's foundation, framing, plumbing, electrical, sheetrock, everything. Please get your home inspected. It is worth the extra maybe eight hundred, fifteen hundred dollars when you're spending three hundred or four hundred thousand dollars on a brand new home to have that peace of mind please do that for yourself thanks so much again for watching everybody i surely appreciate your time and your energy every time you're watching my videos if you guys have any questions or concerns or if you'd like to tell us a story drop it down below don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i surely appreciate it and i love you long time as always if you guys or a home buyer or a home seller or an investor give me a shout if you need a second opinion let me know if you have any questions or concerns as always thank you so much again and i will catch you on the next one bye for now